Welcome back. Today, we're diving into the world of ECR scores, exploring their significance and the percentage they contribute to your overall test score. Hi, I'm Angela, the teacher behind Custom Classroom by Angela. Let's begin with what is the ECR? Well, ECR stands for Extended Constructed Response. It's a new critical component of the STAR ELAR test. It's essentially the new writing segment that's been merged with the reading and editing portions. Now let's dissect its importance by examining the percentage it contributes to your total score. To illustrate this, let's take a closer look at the breakdown for fifth and eighth grade tests. While I focus on these grades, the patterns are pretty consistent across other grade levels. The only main variation is the number of questions. As you can see on this fifth grade test, there are 41 questions with a total of 52 points. This is the same as the third and fourth grade test. 10 of these points come from ECR questions. On a side note, the ECR writing prompt is graded on a rubric where three points are from development of ideas and two points are for conventions, totaling five points. Then they are graded by two different graders. So you multiply that by two and it equals a total of 10 points. Now let's look at the raw score. This score is based simply on if questions are correct or not. It's not evaluated by the difficulty of the test, which is where the scale score comes in. But to keep it simple, let's just say we subtract these 10 points out saying the student got all of the ECR incorrect. That would then put them at a raw score of 42, which is still passing, but then they can now only miss 10 questions in the reading and editing portions to still pass. So in a very basic way, the ECR question makes up about 20% of a student's score. Now let's look at an eighth grade example. As we can see, the eighth grade test has 45 questions, which total 56 points. Now, sixth and seventh grade are also based on the same number of 56 points. English one and two are based on 64 points. 10 of these is still coming from all these tests on the ECR question. Similar to the fifth grade example, there's two graders that come together to total the 10 points. So again, if we look at the raw score here, in a very general term, if we take out the 10 points, the student would be at 46, which is still passing, and they would be able to only miss 16 reading or editing questions and still pass. Now, I know the scoring is much more complicated than just this simple way, but to generalize it, about 18% of the 6th, 7th, and 8th grade test relies on the ECR question. And then high school, since it's 64 points, goes down to 16% of the overall score. Now you can see the percentage of the test in all grade levels is about 16 to 20% of the points are coming from ECR questions. So in a sense, yes, we begin to see that the ECR is important, but a majority of the points are coming from the reading, editing, and revising sections of the test. So in summary, while ECR does play a vital role in test scores, it is essential to maintain a balanced approach to preparation. Focus on developing effective strategies that optimize time and effort. Ensuring students can tackle the ECR question proficiently without dedicating an excess hours of time for perfection. So let's consider a theoretical example of time allotted during the STAR test. On average, students dedicate around three hours to complete the exam. If we distributed this time based solely on the percentage of points each section is worth, students would ideally spend about 86 minutes on reading, 59 minutes on editing and revising questions, and 35 minutes on writing their ECR prompt. This breakdown highlights the urgent need to streamline the ECR writing process. By doing so, we ensure that it doesn't monopolize all of students' time and energy. Instead, they need to allocate the necessary focus to the other sections, particularly those with the higher point value. Remember, effective time management is key to achieving success in standardized tests. So by optimizing students' approach in ECR preparation, we can empower students to tackle each segment efficiently, maximizing their overall 
importance. With that said, go ahead and check out our other ECR focus videos to learn more about how you can tailor these strategies as well as tips to enhance test preparation. Good luck.